Hi, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes and today I'm going to be helping you with some maths. Let's go over and have a look and see what we're doing. In this video we're going to look at subtracting mixed fractions and improper fractions. So we're going to start with some improper fractions. So I have 10 over 8 which means it's improper, it's top heavy. There's more on the top than there is in the bottom. Take away 2 over 4, so 2 quarters. Um, what I need to do is find a common denominator for the fractions. Now, it would be good to find the lowest common denominator, but there are actually lots of different ways I could do this. I could make the lowest denominator 4. So I could halve 8 here to make it 4, and half 10 to make it 5, and then do 5 fourths, take away 2 fourths or 2 quarters. Remember, subtract the whole numbers, there aren't any. Subtract the numerators, 5 take away 2, and then simplify the answer. So I just changed that fraction to begin with. But another way I could have done this is to have changed the other fraction. I could have kept 10 over 8, or 10 eighths, and I could have doubled this because double 4 is 8, double 2 is 4. I've now got the same denominator, so I could do 10 take away 4, which is subtracting the numerators equals 6 over 8, and then simplify my final answer. Well, I can see if I halve both those numbers, I can simplify that fraction. So it doesn't really matter as long as you, if you can try and find the lowest common denominator, that's fantastic. But if you find just a common denominator, then you can get to the answer by simplifying it later. We're next going to have a look at mixed fractions. That means whole numbers as well as fractions are going to be involved. So I'm going to start with the whole number of 3, and 6 sevenths, take away the whole number of 2 and 1 third. So it says find a common denominator for these fractions. So the lowest common denominator for these is going to be 21. So if I have 3 over 21 at the bottom here, I had to, to change that 7 into 21, I had to multiply by 3. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 3. So 3 times 6 is 18. Now I've got a whole number 2. Now notice these whole numbers don't change. You just leave them unchanged the whole time. To make this fraction over 21, I had to multiply by 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. So I multiply the top by 7 as well to get 7 over 21. Now it says I can subtract the whole numbers. Well, 3 take away 2 is 1. Subtract the new numerators, because I've got the same denominator now. 18, <coughs> 18 take away 7 is 11. And then I keep the same denominator. So the answer is 1 whole and 11 twenty-ones. Hopefully that's helped you to work out how to take away or subtract fractions when you have mixed fractions and improper fractions. Thanks for watching this video today. Brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.